Good morning, guys. Before digging into some of the news, um, first I just want to say the polls are now suddenly showing Donald Trump's support among people has grown huge. It never went down. I mean, they're just, anyway. Uh, and then just to let you know weather-wise what's going on here, last night we had high winds, skiff of snow here, probably a lot more up top in mountains, and uh, moving on. Pollution. They say pollution kills millions of children every year. Uh, what they're not talking about is the real death of children, obviously abortion, but one that they do not ever want wish to discuss is a number of children who die by way of pedophilia. These young kids, they disappear on a daily basis. And they say, well, we don't know where they went. Um, we may not know where they went, but we know what happened to them. We know they were killed. And, um, you know, I remember years ago that in California, you know, a lot of these guys that loved little boys or little girls, they could buy a young boy or girl from Mexico for, say, $1,500. And... They were brought up to them, and they kept them in their home for whatever length of time they wanted to use them, and then they disposed of them, or they gave them back, and they disposed of them, or they put them back in the family. Who knows? But many of those children never lived, and the fact is, is that these kids all around the world, uh, many of them are, they are murdered, and, uh, and they're never heard from again. Because, as they say, dead people tell no tales. And um, and so I just wanted to bring that to light. Uh, and then President Trump to leave Iraq off of the list. Um, they say that uh, uh, the new executive order that he intends to sign uh, today or tomorrow... Um, it says here, President Trump will remove Iraq from a list of countries targeted in the U.S. travel ban when he is expected to sign a new executive order on Monday um, after his controversial first attempt was blocked in the court number one. For the vast majority of the people in this country, like for 80% of us, there was nothing controversial about it. It was only controversial for the far left and for those who wish to see this country destroyed or for those who are too stupid uh, to know what's going on. Um, and then um, uh, news mogul Christopher Ruddy, he revealed Sunday that that President Trump is, is PO'd about, I mean of course he's PO'd about the wiretapping. And uh, as, as uh, Trump said, he goes, just found out that Obama had my, my, my wires tapped in Trump Tower just before the victory. Nothing found. This is McCarthyism. And um, and, and obviously it's, it's tremendous corruption. I mean, and as one of you said, well, this has been going on for a long time. True. But, you know, yes, it has been going on for a long time, but that doesn't make it okay. You know, I mean, let's not sit here and pretend that, oh, well, it's been, go it's like, you know something? This is wrong. All this corruption, it's got to stop. It's killing the country. Um, and then North Korea firing four uh, missiles, some going to the uh, Sea of Japan. And I am not going to be shocked if um, one of two things happen. Either China gets fed up with them and, and bombs them, or there is a major coup in that country. I think what's more likely is that we're going to see a major coup in North Korea. And uh, Kim Jong-un, and, and, I mean, he's just, the, ki the kid is nuts. He's just, he's not playing with a full deck. That is so obvious. And, um, uh, and I think China is fed up with him. Um, 
I think that around the world, China has been told, you know, not just from us, but I think from Russia and from all of its other allies, it's like, can you do something to shut that kid up? Can you do something to bring about a regime change there? A little bit of one? What do you say? Anyway, um, the days of Kim Jong-un, I think, are coming to an end very soon. Anyway, that's all for now. God bless y'all. And to all you new viewers, welcome aboard. Bye-bye, guys. Talk to you soon.